What's up, guys? Welcome to a Vibe Call West Radio. Um, today we have someone who I organically met through uh, my boy Andrew Zarella. Shout out Andrew, Andrew Zarella. He's incredible with social media. Uh, this is someone that's incredibly talented. And as I'm diving deeper and deeper into his music, I'm seeing just how diverse of a talent you are. So everyone give it up for Zach Settle. What's up, man? Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I really cool. mess with the, your platform and like, I really like what you do. So thanks for having me here. Yeah, dude. Me. I'm really, I'm really excited to, you know, hear about your story, but also, man, am I tripping? Did you get the blue check mark from like, you know, like this week? <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> I so went on your Instagram yeah. today and I was no, like, oh funny. shit. Nah, bro. They're, um, so Instagram is like rolling out this thing. Basically it's like Twitter blue. Um, Ooh. so me and like a lot of my other friends have been like talking about it like a lot of my musician like artist friends um just because like like i literally logged into my instagram the other day and it just had like a pop-up on there and it was like get meta verified and i was like okay yeah sure I'll do oh it. yeah and so like because like it looks good for the brand and everything so i was like yeah cool um but i've been talking like it was so funny because like i literally like you just like pay like 15 dollars a month or whatever and then like you get the check mark so like some people are gonna be like yeah it's kind of lame but then no. i was like <laughs> at the same time though i was just like no like it's dope like it's something i've always wanted and like i feel like it's cool that it's more accessible to people now yeah exactly which is nice um so yeah but yeah that's true it's so <laughs> I funny did, i was like I looking at I, I, I logged on there i think like last night or this morning and i was like what the fuck i'm like yeah, this bro. is crazy i was like so <laughs> stoked for you yeah bro. yeah man i was so i was going all you know into your instagram i saw that in january 1st you moved down to la yeah i did so what part of yeah. washington are you from so i'm from the seattle area okay um, i'm from renton washington shout out renton yeah shout oh, out renton that camera right there yeah <laughs> shout out renton washington anybody from renton that's watching this i love you um but yeah man renton's a uh, renton's cool it's like it's 30 minutes basically like south from Seattle. I always just say like Seattle area because people in LA, like they don't know where Renton, Washington is. So like <laughs> now, you know, now I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah before. Yeah. But yeah. It's like, um, it's like 30 minutes south of Seattle. It's a cool city. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's weird. Renton's weird. Cause it's like almost split into like two like parts. Like I was in, um, like the Renton Highlands. Um, and then downtown Renton has like a really bad rep just because of like, um, the stuff that happens down there basically um but yeah like it's interesting i see the community like getting better though and it's like losing its reputation a little bit i feel like um hopefully it's negative reputation but um no i love Renton though it's cool it's a cool place definitely um with regards to Renton, would you so sorry, let's, let's back up a little bit so you're from you grew up in Renton. were you there your entire life until here yeah it's uh renton renton yeah, yeah, oh, so i'm so sorry it, yeah, yeah sorry. thank you is it renton? no <laughs> yeah, please correct me i gotta learn yeah, yeah I got so, you, so you grew up in renting renton so for the entire time yeah pretty much um i was born so it's funny. Here we go. We're going to do another R city. I was born in Redmond, Washington. Another R city. And then, yeah, I know, right? And then we lived in, uh, my family and I lived in Kennedale, which is this neighborhood, um, until I was like four. And it's like in the Renton area. Um, and then we moved into my grandparents' house in Renton. And that's where I like literally grew, like, grew up. My parents just bought the house from my grandparents. And then that's they like raised me and my sister there. Um, and yeah, I lived there until basically till I was 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When does the spark for music come into your life? Was it like something that oh was really gosh. like really young or is it something that developed maybe in high school or middle school? Um, <coughs> man. So I always loved playing music. Like music's been like a huge part of my life. I think part of it comes from my family. Um, my mom's side of the family is like super musically talented. Um, my it's like my grandma, my grandma plays piano and uh, her whole side of the family is just like super talented. And so growing up, I would always watch them play and just be so infatuated with it. Like I just like loved it so much. Um, and I loved singing. Like I always loved singing. I grew up, my dad put me on like a lot of rock bands when mm -hmm. I was growing up. I didn't always rap. Like um, I used to do a lot of singing. Uh, listen to a lot of like Linkin Park. Um, so good. I wanted to be like a rock star pretty much ever since I was like a little kid. You're on your way, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, thanks. But yeah, man, I just um, taking like I would uh, like I'm just trying to think about what I did in school. So like in school, elementary school, um, for example, I would sing in like the choir and stuff. And I remember at the fifth grade like it was like the end of the year like fifth grade graduation i was able to sing like i got like a solo 
And uh, shout out my music teacher, by the way, too. She's watching this. But um, she always, like, believed in me and, like, really encouraged my singing because she, like, saw my singing ability and she really liked it, um, which was really cool. And so, um, yeah, so, like, I would, like, sing solos and stuff like that. So, like, people, like, knew I could sing. And then the fifth grade talent show, too, I was, like, 10 years old. I sang Count On Me by Bruno Mars <laughs> um, and play guitar. And uh, I think we still got the video of that somewhere. Dude, I don't know where it is. I, don't I'd know love, I would love to internet. see that, yeah. It's probably on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, dude. Um, music's just always been a huge thing in my life. Like, I just love singing, and I love writing. Mm -hmm. And um, it's cool. Super cool. Then, so, I, in the beginning of that, you were saying you love to play instruments. What instruments do you play? So, I play guitar, and I play a little bit of piano. Um, I'm learning piano right now. A lot better on guitar, though. Like, I know, like, a lot more songs on guitar. But I would say I'm pretty average at both of them. Um, but it's cool though. You don't have to be like super good at playing an instrument to like make good music, which is cool because nowadays we have all this recording software where like if you mess up a note on your like guitar or something, you can just go in and cut it, you know? So like, it's cool. It's cool that, um, yeah, it's like, it's just nice. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Um, yeah, I'm starting to really like piano. And so I'm trying to learn a lot more songs on piano. I just think it's beautiful. It's, it's yeah. an amazing instrument. Yeah, what, what would you say, like, what, what would be your words of encouragement? Because I feel like a lot of people think that there's, like, too much of a skill gap, and it's a little intimidating to, like, you know, tr learn how to play an instrument. Like, what's your mindset in developing that skill? Like, how do you go about getting better at piano, would you say? Um, learn your favorite songs. Don't, like, it's really... Um, discouraging when you try to start learning an instrument and they give you all these songs that you don't like. So true. Like, <laughs> I don't know, 100%. That, first, that makes so much sense. Yeah. When I first started playing guitar, um, I took one guitar lesson and I learned the intro to this one song and I think, I can't even remember what song it was, but I didn't even, like, I didn't like the Stairway song. Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, that would be sick. <laughs> I learned that in college, actually. Yeah. Because I took some guitar classes there too, but um, no, like, when I was a kid though, and I was like going to guitar lessons, I remember I went to one lesson and I was like, that was lame, like I don't wanna do that again. Just because they make you learn these songs that are like easy to play songs, but if you don't actually like them, you're not gonna be like in it and you don't, cause it's like, it's really hard to learn an instrument. And if you're not there mentally, if you're not like, I love this song so much, I need to know how to play it, then uh, it's gonna be 10 times harder. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. It makes sense, you know what's so funny about, it's a really good point. Um, sometimes I wish, you know, school for children was a little bit more like that. I think that it would encourage, you know, kids that, you know, I wasn't the best student. And I think it's because my lack of interest in, you know, long division or just like, <laughs> for example. So yeah. I, I think that's a really good point that you made. And it's I think it's also interesting, like that we can get kind of into your, you know, vocal career with like, you know, sing, singing and rapping. But I feel like when you're starting out rapping, you kind of do the same thing. You emulate the people that you look up to so much Absolutely. you know who, so who are those people for you would you say oh my god um man i'm just trying to think right now so like i didn't really get into rap music until um middle school like late middle school i listened to a lot of rock music so i just like to sing mm -hmm. um and then once i was in middle school like kanye started dropping like mercy and like all these like crazy songs you know like and jay-z like no church in the wild and like i'd never heard those songs before and um or like those artists before really, I never really listened to them. And then um, it really just got me like hearing those songs and then also listening to Linkin Park. Like I'm a huge Linkin Park fan. Um, listening to Linkin Park and Mike Shinoda, who's like the rapper in Linkin Park. Um, like I just, I really started leaning towards rapping and I was like, this is like, this shit's dope. Like, can I swear on you? Of course. Okay, dude. cool. I was like, Whatever I was you like, want. I was like, this shit's dope. Like I really love, um, like, I love, like, the technical ability and, yeah. like, the way that you can, like, make words sound and, like, um, make, like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, um, like slant rhymes. Yeah, like, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, um, be able to make a word sound like something else. Like, like Kanye, I guess, for example, like, saying, like, <laughs> uh, insecure that. instead yeah. of, like, insecure, you know? It's, like, it's cool because then you can make it rhyme with something, like, completely, like, different. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so then... Um, after that, I started really listening to Tupac because I was like, okay, I want to get to like the roots of like this rap shit. And so then I started listening to a lot of Tupac, and like Tupac is like one of my favorite rappers. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. But yeah, dude. Yeah. And then so the transition. So were you writing songs when you were younger? When you were listening to those rock bands? Absolutely. You, so really, so yeah. how old, how old were you when you wrote your first song? Like ten. 
Damn. Yeah, I wrote my first song when I was like 10. It was called... Um, I was going to ask you the name. Perfect. It was called Let Me Out. Okay. That's what sure. it was called. And it was like this, <laughs> this <is> aggressive <laughs> rock song. Like uh, me and my friend Tommy, we wrote it in my garage. Um, he played guitar and I played guitar and we were just both kind of into it. And so like we weren't, we were both not good. You know, we're like 10 years old, but he would come over and then I remember we set a camera up. We like made this song, we wrote it and everything. And then uh, he, we both like play guitar and like I have it on film somewhere. I have That's no so idea sick. where it is, but yeah, it's somewhere though too. Um, yeah, but that was like the first song I wrote. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. You should you should make like a Patreon or Discord and drop that. Yeah, I know. For, <laughs> for your super fans, that's so sick. I what should, was, you guys? Were you guys in a band? Um, yeah. Well, we made a band. It probably lasted a month. It was called <laughs> Steel Tablet. Steel Tablet. How do yeah. you, do you remember how how you come up with that name? Tommy came it's, up with it, and I just didn't. it's super hard. <laughs> he came up with it, and I just didn't want to like even say anything. Dude. I was just like. It's cool. Like, I Dude. guess, like, it's cool. It sounds me, like a metal band. It though. does sound like a metal band. Hook yeah. me up with some steel, with some merch. I would love merch from yeah. that band. That'd be so yeah. sick. And then, so, um, I want to give a shout out to Shane, by the way. Yeah, um, dude, shout out Shane. He's an incredible, you know, even just the brief moments I've had interaction with him. He seems, you seem like you have a really good team around you of, yeah. you know, um, people that, you know, you're a really good guy, it seems like, as well. Thanks. So, it seems like um, there's a lot of congruency on your team of just really good people. How do you meet Shane? Um, so... Actually, so this is like kind of what I wanted to get into too. Like when you asked me about my inspirations, I started thinking about how they like changed over the years. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Evolved. Yeah, go. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw these ones out there as well because these people are like super influential to me. Um, but uh, like Brockhampton is like Dude. my favorite. Like, oh my god! All the artists in Brockhampton, like Don McLean and Kevin Abstract. Like, bro, I'm such a guys. stan. I'm sorry, I'm the yeah. Fuck yeah, you're man. a stan too. Okay, dude, cool. <laughs> so much. I love Brockhampton. Like, yeah, dude, my girlfriend got me um. The, uh, the like the lunch like the box from their last album. I have the shirt for like their last album. Oh really? Dude, nice. they, like That's yeah. Sick. Dude, I have I, too much Brockhampton merch. Too. Dude, I almost so wore, I almost wore a Brockhampton hoodie. Dude, that'd been crazy. I thought about it, but then you should have been. Ah, oh, dude, I just I don't know. That entire run of 2017 is just classic, classic, yeah. classic, classic. I don't know. Just like, no, totally. They're Absolutely. amazing. So I, lo I love that um, you love them as well. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, and then uh, basically like. Um, so I started listening to a lot of Brockhampton and then in high school, me and my friend Pedro got this app like on our phones called auto rap. And it was like this app where you could like sing into the microphone and then like, it would just auto tune your voice to like make it sound good. And it would make songs. <laughs> I remember the T-Pain one when I was really young. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> but, but yeah. So anyways, then we like made some music in high school. It wasn't very good. And then, um, I went to college. And so when I was in college, I started making a lot of music. Like I was, hmm. I was, uh, I like was basically joining, like I joined a frat. I was like living in a dorm with my friend Sam. Um, and he also made music at the time. Shout I, out Sam. Yeah, shout out Sam. <laughs> um, but yeah, like we just started making music all the time. And then people started to catch on. Um, I dropped like a solo album and I put it on Spotify with like some random YouTube beats that I didn't pay the producers for. And uh, <laughs> like, Dude, I, know, I, know, started, I know that all too well, man. Yeah, bro. Everyone, Back in the day, yeah. But everyone at like the frat and stuff thought it was really cool. And so I was like, okay, like maybe I can like actually do this like for real. And so that like gave me confidence. And so then fast forward probably three years later, um, I did this rap battle like competition over Zoom. And it was hosted by Drewski and like which was really cool oh i've seen i've so, seen videos of that i do oh i've seen yeah. your video of that oh you saw my jack video? harlow yeah yeah i saw <laughs> yeah. that video dude. that's amazing yeah, yeah go bro, on. so um so i was like doing so i did this this is all context for like how i met shane basically. yeah 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 um so like i do this um i do this rap battle and like i crush it like me and like a couple of my buddies were also like we like entered in and like we got selected so i was like rapping against them too which that's was really so funny, funny. <laughs> but like uh just just me tearing and my, them down yeah <laughs> me and my friend vasili were like the last two and it was really funny but um yeah but anyways like midway through like i'm like rapping and drewski's like loving it he's like bro he's like we have we might have to call jack like we might have to call jack and then i was like no way like he's not actually gonna do it and then all of a sudden he's like he's like hey yo he's like hey zach He's like, run it back. And he like shows the FaceTime and it's literally like Jack Harlow on the FaceTime. And I was like, just shitting myself. Like on Zoom, like there's like a hundred people watching or something like Holy that. Holy shit. And I was just like, oh my God, God. Jack Harlow's about to watch me And he was popping right off during that time. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, like, yeah, he literally. was. It was like right after. What's popping? Yeah, like right after what's <laughs> no, popping. I didn't even mean to do that pun, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like it was right after what's popping, like, um, which was just crazy. So like, it was a really cool moment for me. Um, but that happened and a friend that went to high school with Shane, uh, he reached out to me 
or Shane. I forget how it happened. Maybe he reached out to both of us. But um, he reached out to me and he was like, hey, my friend is in L.A. And like I went to high school with him in San Francisco. And he is like trying to like manage like some artists. And I was like, OK, cool. So me and Shane just started talking. And uh, basically, like it got to the point where we would just be on phone calls all the time, like talking about like my music and my future. And he would always be like, oh, bro, you got to get down here. Like you got to get down to L.A. And at that time, I was in Pullman, Washington, which is like eastern Washington. Um, the population is like 20,000 people. Um, it's just it's a college town. It's just a very small town. What like, college is there? Uh, Washington State University. Okay, Washington. for sure. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. So that's where I went. But um, yeah, so like when I was there, basically that's how I got connected with Shane. It was not even like with Shane himself, but through Shane's friend who's just putting him on, which is like kind of cool. But yeah, so then I basically just kept talking to Shane for a while, and then um, eventually he was like, "Yo, like." Um, we should like make this official so then like he's my manager and then like now i'm down here and so it's all cool so, definitely yeah. and you know shout out shane again you know obviously you saw you know your talent i see it as well yeah, and thanks, um yeah i think that that's a big move like that's not you know like what's i want like there's probably people that feel similar to your situation like what would you tell them about moving down here like obviously like you'd be realistic but you have to be passionate like what would you say yeah um Man, like I've only been down here for like three months and like I'm not gonna lie, it's it's been tough. Like I left all of my friends basically. Like I don't have like a lot of friends down here. It's really just like Shane. You got one Billy. new you like, got I one new one now. I count them on one hand. Yeah, much. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. No, yeah. But like seriously though, I don't um I don't have a lot of friends down here and it's hard to move somewhere where you have no friends. Um I do wanna say though I would not be like I would not be here without my girlfriend. Um, What's her she, name? Elena. Awesome. Yeah, Shout she, out Elena. Um, yeah, I would not be here without her. She has like just she's always just like by my side, like always like you know giving me like knowledge and like just helping me like through like navigating this whole like music thing too. But um, yeah, no, like uh, if you're gonna move down here, definitely get a roommate. That's one of my <laughs> one of my uh, words of advice because I live with her and it's pretty awesome. Um, definitely get a roommate and don't don't move here alone. It's gonna be really hard. Uh, yeah, just because it's easy to get lonely in a city so big. But um, other than that, though, like if basically the biggest motivator for me, like moving down here was um, I just didn't want to look back in like 10, 15 years and be like, I can't believe I didn't move down there. Like I just couldn't I don't think I would be able to live with myself because I was just like, this is like what I've always wanted to do. And everything was just kind of like stacking on top of each other, like like just building up more like reasons to like move to LA. And then eventually I was just like, I have to do it. And so um, we started looking for jobs. She got a job um, in the Palisades. And so we just, we just decided to move. Mm -hmm. And it's been like the best decision I think I've ever made. Mm -hmm. um, it's tough moving somewhere new, but like, man, it's so nice here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean like you're getting, but you kind of brought the Washington weather. A little I bit. know I did, bro. <laughs> There's been three rainstorms. I want a refund. Yeah, it's literally, crazy. I'm like, we're playing, we're playing LA rent in Washington uh, climate, but. Yeah, dude, it's insane. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy, but you know, I think that that speaks to, you know, your passion and, you know, just like going out there and really seizing it. Cause like, that's the thing I think that motivates a lot of people is not like the fear of like regret, mm -hmm. but just the idea that like, if I, you know, it's, I feel like it's, it's better to have failed than not have tried. Exactly. And like, that's the mentality I think of a lot of great artists and great entrepreneurs. And like, you know, so that, that rings true with your story. And, um, now, so now you're here mm -hmm. now you're, you're living here with your girlfriend yeah. and the the moves that you're making so i saw so you dropped numerator in is it january or was, was that last year um no, i can't remember i feel like it was jan uh, december it was, it was december, december right? or january Dude, that's forget. like that's like. such a clever hook <laughs> yeah, it was guy like, like i was listening to that and jokes. i was i literally went oh shit math I was like, jokes baby dude, nerdy, it's great man nerdy, you know? <laughs> so no so you released cool kids is your most recent release mm -hmm, yeah. and then but i saw that you signed a record deal yeah so i did i yeah. signed a small deal with um this small label stay hungry records yeah, I saw um, that, yeah they've been just they've been just helping me out a lot you know um Dope. i think it's it's been a cool experience though that was like one of the main things that like got me to come to la too um but yeah man i'm like signed now it's weird to say that but like congrats man yeah thanks it's cool um yeah obviously like you know we want to we're gonna reach for the stars so it was just it felt like the right thing to do stay hungry you know? yeah totally <laughs> stay hungry That's, baby yeah i'm real i'm i'm really excited for 
so many different things that I'm probably going to see you do this year. I'm going to go to your We Found New Music show. Oh, you are? No 100%. way. Bro. Yeah, Thank definitely, you. man. No, oh, I'm a fan great. and I'm, a, I'm your friend now too, man. I'm definitely going to come and support. And um, I'm really excited. Do you have anything that you would like to say though, like before we kind of um, jump off or like anything you want to announce or? I don't really have any like thing to announce or anything like that. Um, just, uh, I guess, talk to the camera. I don't have anything to like announce or anything like that, but... Um, you know, I'm just, I'm always working, you know, and you're going to get a lot more Zach Settle music this year. So that's it. Like, you know, it's just I have something to announce. He's playing. We found new music <laughs> on April 3rd. Is it third? Is it yeah, third? April, April 3rd, 3rd. Yeah. On, Monday. on Monday. And be there. Yeah, true. Be Fucking there. kidding me. Be that's there. the announcement. This be guy there. is dope. You better be there. You better be there. We're going to find you. Kevin will find you. He, nope. he, he knows that shit. He will. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Uh, I'm a super big fan. The verse that you guys are going to hear from this guy is nasty as fuck. I also saw that you did the Logic one, which is really cool. Big fan of that one as well. The last line where you said, like, if Bobby had any Logic, he knows he'd go with Zach. Oh, yeah, yeah, the TikTok. Yeah, that yeah. That was a great bar. I remember that one. I was, I was blown away by, by that. The whole thing was really fire. Your alliterations in that were fucking sick. Thanks. Um, I, I really do like that verse. Yeah, thanks. dude, it's a really good verse. Yeah, um, so, you know... Please go check out Zach's music. Um, I'm definitely going to try and collab with him this year. I'm definitely going to push his stuff on my Instagram as well. And uh, this definitely won't be the last time you hear from him, man. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate yeah, it, man. Of course, Thank man. You. All right, we're going to go up on the roof and make the song. Vibe Call West Radio. Done. Pride's not opposite of shame, but it's source of course was born the day. day. Let's them mold appear to you, no self worth the human way. Keyboard swords, these Wi Fi wars, meant for escapes, now dig graves, but know that trolls and monitor the mortars, both your blood the same. same. So the mood of me is to isolate an instant internet hideaway. Is our virtue bait and hurt you, hey? Hurt you first, so I'm safe. Clouds fake, but so am I. A 21st century tragedy lie. My 20s energy is salary, survive on minimum wage with minimum drive. Yeah, this is that live by the coast on a boat dream I be flipping the script that they wrote me Unapologetic for my vision, you can see me winning Count up every trophy, I am a fiend, it's never enough Money machine inside of my blood I need the lead, it's all in my cup I needed to lead a little, hold up This that reminiscing like you biking down the street You grew up on, singing songs they sleeping on And wondering if you belong Sometimes I think it's all too much And like I'm losing touch But my dad, my hero told me I should never give this up At least I wanna succeed And fly in a jet to every state When really I'm squeezing on reality Trying to get through every day Not a cadet and never a saint I look at my future and only can pray I block out the noise and I'm ducking away I don't know why I'm listening to what they say All of it's falsified And all of these thoughts are sad some of these people don't know what it takes Like you gotta fall to fly You gotta believe in yourself No matter what and just do what you can Take a step back and zoom out a bit You'll see that the world's in your hands Yeah